2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid Review. Pros. Interior space. Fuel economy. Plenty of standard features. Cons. Awkward seat folding action. What's new? The Grand Highlander Hybrid is all new for 2024. The 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid is the most fuel-efficient version of the company's newest and roomiest three-row midsize SUV. Pricing starts at $44,670. A three-row SUV from Toyota already seems like a no-brainer. Then add a fuel-sipping hybrid drivetrain, an area of technology where Toyota has been both a pioneer and paradigm, and we're reaching for our wallets. But there's more. More space for passengers in the second and third rows, plus a generous cargo area all greater than the usual sized Highlander. It has to be said that the not grand Highlander does lose out to most rivals in terms of interior space. This new Ford 2024 Grand Highlander puts Toyota right back into contention. The regular, non-hybrid Grand Highlander is reviewed separately. What's new for 2024? The Grand Highlander Hybrid is an all-new model in the larger Grand Highlander range. Although it shares a name with the usual Highlander, this vehicle has its own styling and is built on a different platform. 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid Pricing The 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander Hybrid starts at $44,670. That's for the XLE trim with front-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is an extra $1,600. Grand Highlander Hybrid XLE $44,670, FWD, slash $46,270, AWD. Grand Highlander Hybrid Limited AWD $51,060. Grand Highlander Hybrid Max Limited AWD $54,040. Grand Highlander Hybrid Max Platinum AWD $58,125. These are the manufacturer's suggested retail prices, MSRP, and do not include the $1,395 factory to dealer delivery fee, destination charge. Non-hybrid contenders like the Kia Telluride, Hyundai Palisade, Honda Pilot, and Chevrolet Traverse all start in the mid to high 30s. If a Highlander hybrid, not grand, turns out to be sufficiently spacious, it starts in the low 40s. And the combustion-only Grand Highlander kicks off at around $43,000. Before buying a new Grand Highlander hybrid SUV, check the Kelly Blue Book fair purchase price to know what you should pay. We fully expect the Grand Highlander Hybrid will enjoy the same above-average resale values as its slightly smaller stablemate. Power, Ride, and Handling The XSE and Limited models have a 245-horsepower hybrid drivetrain as standard. Thanks to the low-end thrust provided by the electric motor, the Grand Highlander Hybrid is a little quicker than its combustion-only counterpart, running from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in about 7 seconds. We've found the 2024 Grand Highlander smooth and steady on the highway and easy around town, although its plus-size proportions can make parking lots feel a bit tighter. While most of our editors would go with the regular hybrid powertrain even over the all-gas Grand Highlander buyers planning to haul full loads of people, gear, or a trailer might want to consider the more muscular 362-horsepower hybrid max drivetrain. We've spent hundreds of hours driving and evaluating this generation of three-row SUVs, including the Toyota Grand Highlander. Fuel economy. The Grand Highlander Hybrid makes a strong case for itself here. The entry-level hybrid system in the entry-level XLE trim achieves 36 combined MPG, 37 city, 34 highway, with front-wheel drive, FWD, or 34 combined MPG, 36 city, 32 highway, with all-wheel drive, AWD. The limited trim has AWD as standard and posts 33 combined MPG, 35 city, 31 highway. The powerful Max Hybrid drivetrain which is standard in the top platinum trim, optional in the limited, and comes with AWD runs to 27 combined MPG, 26 city, 27 highway. For comparison, those figures are about as good as the smaller and less powerful Kia Sorento Hybrid, which manages 37 combined MPG, FWD, or 35 combined MPG, AWD. Spacious Interior In most reviews, we'd start this section at the front and work toward the back. But since one of the Grand Highlander Hybrid's main reasons for existence is found rearward, let's flip the script. The cargo room behind the third row is 20.6 cubic feet, space enough to hold up to 12 carry-on suitcases, 1.6 cubic feet each. Fold down the second and third rows for a maximum of 97.5 cubic feet, 
enough to hold more than 60 carry-on suitcases, if that's your idea of fun. The ungrand equivalent goes from 16 to 84.3 cubic feet. However, the Grand Highlander Hybrid does not beat all comers if we study non-hybrid alternatives. The Chevy Traverse manages 23 to 98.2 cubic feet. And although the Kia Telluride doesn't match the Toyota's maximum, it has 21 cubic feet behind its third row. The third row is generously sized, 33.5 inches of rear legroom outdoes all the class except for the Traverse, which matches the Toyota to the 10th. The Grand Highlander Hybrid compares favorably to the Highlander's 28 inches. The 2024 Grand Highlander Hybrid offers a choice of seating in the second row. A pair of captain's chairs are standard, resulting in a maximum occupant count of 7. The XLE and Limited offer a three-person bench, turning this hybrid SUV into an eight-seater. The Max Limited and Max Platinum are seven-seaters exclusively. Maximum legroom here is 39.5 inches, almost an inch better than the regular Highlander. The Sorento Hybrid, Telluride, and Pilot are more accommodating, but that's still a decent amount for an adult of average size. One thing that both the Grand Highlander Hybrid and its smaller counterpart have in common is finicky folding for rows 2 and 3. Comparing the Grand Highlander Hybrid to the regular Grand Highlander, there are no compromises to accommodate the extra hardware. All these interior dimensions are the same. In the front row, the new Grand Highlander Hybrid has a 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen, individual armrests, three drinks holders, including one for a large bottle, and wireless charging. The cabin has seven USB-C ports, ten more cup holders, and plenty of nooks for stowing things. Distinct exterior. A midsize SUV expanded for more rear space might sound like a recipe for odd proportions, but the 2024 Grand Highlander Hybrid gets the aesthetics right and has a good chance of aging well. The styling is distinct, not just an adjusted version of the regular Highlander. Yet there are still clever touches like the wide rear passenger doors contributing to easy third row access. At just under 17 feet, the Grand Highlander Hybrid is about 9 inches longer than the regular Highlander, with about 4 inches going into the wheelbase, the distance between the front and rear axles. It's also a couple of inches wider, and the roof is a couple of inches higher ground clearance is the same. Our favorite features and tech. Infotainment system. We like Toyota's infotainment setups. They're easy to use. The one in the Grand Highlander Hybrid has voice activation, say, hey, Toyota, then give a command, over the air updates, plus wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Smart key. A standard feature, this allows access to the Grand Highlander Hybrid using a phone app. A conventional key is not necessary. Facial recognition. With different drivers using the same vehicle, facial recognition can perceive each and dial in preferred settings like cabin temperature and audio settings. 360-degree camera system. Also known as the panoramic view monitor, it gives drivers a bird's eye view of the vehicle surroundings when maneuvering. Exclusive to the platinum trim. Digital rear view mirror. When there's an SUV full of people and stuff, it's reassuring to have a clear view behind without even the rear pillars getting in the way. This feature in the platinum trim shows the feed from a wide-angle rear-facing camera. Traffic jam assist. Part of the platinum trim, this feature can take care of the steering, throttle, and brakes at speeds up to 25 miles per hour and when certain conditions are met. Engine and transmission. The 2024 Grand Highlander Hybrid offers a choice of two drivetrains. The XLE and Limited setup consists of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine augmented by an electric motor to generate 245 HP. The regular non-hybrid GH has 265 HP, but a little sacrifice for lower emissions isn't so bad. The most potent hybrid max configuration is available in the Limited trim and standard in the top platinum trim, developing 362 HP from an electric motor and a turbocharged 2.4-liter four-cylinder gasoline engine. Unusually, Toyota also quotes a torque figure for this drivetrain, a meaty 400 lbft of it. The smaller hybrid comes with FWD as standard, with the option of AWD on the XLE. AWD is standard on the Limited. Each uses a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT. The MAX has AWD as standard, along with a 6-speed automatic transmission. The MAX drivetrain achieves a maximum towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. The more modest version can still handle 3,500 pounds.